Hey y'all, welcome back to Prep the Truth Homestead. My wife's a cooking, this is her channel, and she's going to be nice enough to cook breakfast. So I'm going to let her tell you what we got cooking. We are going to cook minute steaks, and they are frozen, so I'm going to show you how you cook these all the way from frozen and you don't even have to thaw them up. Simple, easy, and quick, because they're really thin. So it doesn't take long to do them. I'm going to get some flour first because I'm going to batter them. And I season my flour before I put it on them. And I've already got oil in my pan over here heating up so that it will be ready to go in there. This is just... Pink salt, Himalayan salt, and regular black pepper. I'm just going to mix it in and then I'm going to get these out and start battering them because my oil will be hot enough by then. Well, this is one time our floor is going to be messed up. I've done some moving and the floor is... Got stuff in it. Yeah, it needs swept up. So if y'all see anything, that's my battle now. Welcome to life. All right, as you can see, now these are froze. I mean, they're still hard. I literally just took them out of the freezer. And all I'm gonna do is press these down into it good. Let it soak them up. You can see it still will batter on them, even froze, if you just work it in there. Just get it coated real good. So if you're wanting a meat that you can stock up that's still fairly cheap, ain't much anything cheap anymore, but it's still fairly cheap to stock up and put in a freezer, and then you don't have to worry about if you forgot to thaw it up to eat it, That this is a good one. If you can find it in your area, because it's hard to find it in certain areas. They don't have it. They mainly have bucket steak, but this is much more tender than bucket steak. And if anybody don't know, if you want to check if your uh, oil is hot enough before you put something in it so that you it's not mushy, all you got to do is sprinkle a little bit of flour down in it, and if it bubbles up when that flour hits it, it's hot enough. That's all you've got to do. And I don't have much oil in it because it does not take much oil. I'm just going to press it down in there and let it cook. It will brown up and it will taste good. So all you got to do is just let that cook. And I'm just cooking it on, it's five and a half, so it's a little bit over medium on mine. But don't cook it too hot because if you cook it too hot, you're just going to burn the outside of it and your middle's not going to be done. But if you do it just right, you'll have a crispy outside and it'll be nice and tender on the inside. Y'all get sick. It will not take long at all. I'm going to open this package right here, but I'm not going to bread this package until I'm ready to put it over in it. Because if you do, the moisture from the meat will just soak it up. It won't, it won't cook good. It won't have a good batter. These are bubbling up and cooking, so they're going to be good. Let me wash my hands. They're starting to cook good now. And I'm ready for breakfast. I am hungry. We just got through feeding the chickens, feeding the quail, feeding the dogs. I think that's it, ain't we? ain't got nothing else left. Well, chickens I, and dogs. Yeah. And rabbits. Rabbits, yeah. I was fixing to say rabbits. You made me And rabbits, yeah. So. We're, little, we're a farm around here. Them little baby rabbits, so, so cute. We got little chicks, too. I forgot that. We got little bee baby chicks. And we've got chickens laying eggs. And we've got them other ones. It's them Rhode Island Reds. Medium it's size. about medium size. Yeah. So. We're in between all age groups now on chickens. <laughs> and we're getting a bunch of eggs a day too. How many eggs are they doing today? I'm averaging eight or more eggs a day. Eight or more, okay. Uh -huh. 
And it was yep. a bunch. So we're actually averaging more than we're even eating. Yeah, so we are eating our own eggs. We're not even buying eggs to store no more, so that is a bonus on that. We're eating our own eggs and we're hatching our own eggs. We're fixing to have to fill up another uh, thing full of uh, ink better because I'm getting more eggs than we're eating. Well, getting back to speaking of food, what all are we having? Are we having this and gravy too? Well, Faith has asked for just a uh, sandwich. She likes right. it with just the meat and a piece of cheese on two toasted pieces of bread. So that's what she wants. So if you want something different, if you want gravy, I can put. No, I'll eat too. that too. I think I'll eat some peppers or something with it. I've got some cayenne pepper I just picked. We got. We go over and get that cayenne pepper. Mm -hmm. We we're producing already a bunch of cayenne pepper. Here's some out right now. And this cayenne pepper, if you can eat pepper, not a bad can. I don't count their gut and stomach, but if you it's can, good. it's very good for you. It's pretty hot though. It is. I ate one small one last night while you was working out when I was eating. <laughs> I'm like. I gotta get up and then I gotta go get some drink. That's hot. Well, I can want to turn got them for you. My wife, like, I know y'all see me eat a lot of peppers. You're probably thinking that guy eats more peppers than his wife. Not a bit This lying. woman right here loves peppers more than me. She just don't eat in front of the camera as like I will, or as easy or whatever. But when she does, them kind of peppers, I'm telling you, if I, I pick the whole plant, she will eat every single one of them. And what I don't eat. I, if I'm getting more than I'm actually eating, I will pickle them. And I love them pickled even more than fresh, but it takes like seven months for them to pickle. So, so I grow kind of a process. I grow a bunch of extra um, cayenne peppers for her every year this year, and I've got a lot more extra than I ever have. But I like to see her eat all them peppers because she can really eat a bunch at one meal. It's amazing how many peppers she can eat. I like them. But cayenne pepper is my favorite one. So she can outdo me on cayenne pepper about 10 to 1. And I do like them. I eat about one to two when I'm making cayenne pepper, sometimes three, but she can put away 10 or more at a time. When we get more of them in and I start pickling them, I'll show them how I pickle them because it's easy. It's, there's we need to, it. We need to get you to show how many pepper cayenne peppers you can eat on camera too. They're gonna flip out how many cam, uh, uh, cayenne peppers you can eat. Well, when we live stream, if I eat hot peppers, I usually don't show how many I eat because it like makes you sweat and it makes your nose run and all yeah, that. And I'm, does, like, I'm not going hot. on camera with that. <laughs> Especially, we got some there down everything that I thought was going to be little. A lot of times you pick the littler cayenne peppers and sometimes they're milder and cooler. And the ones we got right now, they're not, this year's is not mild and cool at all. A lot of people probably look at this and go, oh, it's just an itty bitty pepper. But that will be hot. Very yeah. hot. That's how hot they got. It's so weird that even being the same kind of plants, each plant varies on how hot their peppers are. Some of them we've had on cayenne peppers not really even that hot. They just taste good. And then these we got this year though is orchards. I like them with heat though, don't you? I do like them with heat. Mm -hmm. I can eat the mild ones, but I just love the ones that are hot better. They're cooking good now and they won't take long at all, especially since they start cooking. I could actually probably cap it and make it fit quicker, but they wouldn't be able to see it either. <laughs> so if you want it to cook even quicker, put a lid on top of it, and that will help. But I'm not putting a lid on it just for filming purposes only. What do you like on your sandwich like this? Basically a bucket steak. I call it bucket steak, but it's minute steak. It's like a bucket steak, only this is a lot more tender than it's, a bucket they steak. They call it a minute steak, and it's way more tender. It is so tender. That if you're cooking these from fresh, if you're not real careful even trying to batter them up, they're going to fall all to pieces. That's what I like, too. Because in bucket steak, I know there's a bunch of people who cook bucket steak. They're good, but you've you got to more or less. Tender. Yeah, a lot of times you can put a little water at the end and it'll tender them up. I know y'all know that trick. If you don't, I'll get my wife to cook minute steak later on. She can show you how to make them things tender real easy. I know a lot of y'all cooks do. But new cooks that are just learning... Would be better off to go with a minute steak because it's easier. Because on the bucket steak, if you don't learn all that and you don't really get that down, you will. You couldn't cut it with a chainsaw. I will have to say, minute steak is not found at every store no more. A lot That's of stores don't like have it. it like they used to. Used to, uh -uh. you could go to the store, you can find this real common. Now it's hard to find in any store. They usually have the bucket steak, and it uh, takes a little longer to cook and tenderize. I'm going to go ahead and start to put them over. These used to be so easy to find. But if you've never eaten these, 
This is basically gonna be like a steak sandwich, an old school way. They mm -hmm. taste good. Yeah. I like my steak sandwich just plain. Just toast and meat. You ain't gonna put no cheese on nope, it? Nope, but Faith likes hers. I like with mine cheese. with cheese. I can eat it plain. I can eat it any way. It'll taste good, but I can eat it with cheese. Everything. I wish we had a good homegrown tomato right now. That is literally what I said two minutes ago because I was gonna fix a bacon sandwich. And I'm like, we don't have a slice of tomato though. So no I could eat one of them right now. A good homegrown tomato, which that's on down the road, y'all. We well, got I'll a bunch of tomatoes. We'll see if we find some in the market somewhere that's come in from somewhere Well, yeah, that's homegrown good. ones right now still, their fixes to start coming in won't be long ago. But them Florida tomatoes, if we can get some from somebody that's got some good ones, them Florida tomatoes is good. Them last ones you bought was good ones. Very good ones. They was no different than ours. They're looking good. Faith's behind me. Faith, are you getting ready to eat? Yes. Are you ready to eat your big steak sandwich? Yes. What do you want on your steak sandwich? Cheese and toast. Cheese and toast. Nothing else? Would you eat you a good tomato if we had one? Mm -hmm. She loves tomatoes. Hannah loves tomatoes, too. Oh, yeah, I want to invite anybody that's watching this. Uh, if you're brand new to this channel, I want you to be part of uh, my wife's channel. I sure would appreciate you doing it. Hit that subscribe button. These are smelling good. Now I am starting to get hungry. Mm -hmm. I'm not starting. I won't lie. I am hungry. And I am ready to eat. But I'm going to give Faith the first sandwich, or y'all, or whatever. But, well, well there's I three, have of them. three of them, so I'll have enough for everybody but one person. So I'll, while I'm cooking, I'll wait on the next batch. I woke up hungry this morning. I'm real hungry. But this is good, too. To, I thought about doing this, but she's going to do a steak sandwich. This is really good. This is what I like the most. Cook this, cook gravy. You could even mix that in with the gravy. It's good like that to have the more or less the stock out of it. That's the best way to do gravy. It tastes, if you got something makes that you've the, already cooked. Yes, it makes the gravy taste so good. And eggs, and I like to pour that over my eggs and have biscuits or toast. And to me, it's awesome. I like my favorite way to eat eggs too is scrambled. If I'm gonna eat them like this, I could eat them with yellow onions either one, but uh, I like them scrambled with cheese. Well, if you want gravy, I can fix gravy. No, I'm, I'm ready for it. That sounds pretty good. I'm ready for a steak sandwich. I could eat me a steak sandwich every day like this. I call it a steak sandwich. That's what, here in the South, that's what Down we... Down here in the South, this is a steak sandwich. Yeah, this is big, yeah. They won't nobody call it a minute. Uh, they call it a steak sandwich. Cause that's, this is like a poor man's steak sandwich. That's exactly what it is. Now, Down here in the South. This is a poor, poor man's, man's steak sandwich. Yep, yeah, and I have eaten many of these sandwiches. Yeah. That's how we eat them down Which, here. you know something? This ain't poor man's sandwich no more. Oh, this stuff right here, they we don't know. That man. stuff. Because really, this is just, uh, what is this, ground round? Is that what it is? Yes. It's ground round run through the tenderizer. till it's that, tenderizes it down. We all know it now. With that hamburger, mate, none of it's poor. Or you not know, like, right that here, no more cheap. This is $5.99 a pound. And that was, and you know, we've had this in the freezer, so. We're going to eat some stuff out of the freezer before it ruined. But it's probably higher than that now. It's probably $7.99 a pound or more. Mm -hmm. So they call it four-man steak right here, but it's probably really not. It's not cheap. Well, it's probably not cheap either. But it's still good. Well, it's not cheap anymore. It used to be. We bought that. Well, it's went up even since then, but we bought that and put that in the freezer. We got. I felt like a decent deal, but it still wasn't cheap. I know that. But, but for this, each one of these packages, uh, it was only like $2 and something. Yeah. So if you want a little bit of a meat with something, compared to the price of a lot of stuff, it was still cheap. You can see it looks like a little miniature hamburger, and it just, if you like hamburgers, anything like that, this, you can see that's close to personal, it just tastes good. Oh, yeah, and you can do it now. however you want to cook it, and it's mm -hmm. going to taste good. To me, I think it's better than bison. You like it better than bison? Oh, mm -hmm. if y'all have never eaten bison. You need to dry it. Yes, if you can find it in the store. To me, bison's real good. It's tender. But it, I ain't no telling how much it is now. It's probably went up a lot higher. The last time we bought it, it was $10 a pound. $10 a pound? I remember it used to be like six ninety nine or five ninety nine a pound. And the only place we can find it is public. And to me, them bison out in the field, we got a lot of them here in Alabama. Them things are pretty out in the field. Mm -hmm. These right here are almost done. 
Yep, them is done. So, what I'm going to do is take these out, and then I will batter these over here that are froze, because you don't want to do it too quick, because the batter will just soak into your meat, and it's not no good. Okay, this is what they look like. Looks good to me, them things will taste good. You can see how fast they do cook fast now since she's got that grease already hot. But everybody cooks in different oil. We went over, we switched over some olive oil and stuff like that. Sometimes we eat out of a coconut. Is it coconut oil? Mm-hmm. And sometimes we have ghee. But we used to always eat out of usually uh, Crisco grease or some kind of generic grease like that for years on top of years. I have no vegetable oil in my house. You have like, vegetables. No vegetables. We used to eat at all. out of vegetable oil, that, Crisco, or some kind of like generic version of that. And years ago, when I was a kid, we ate out of a lot of lard. Did y'all eat your family's mm -hmm. house? Did y'all eat a bunch of lard? Yep. But That's I do good. have Crisco still, like the. One in the big toes because you can use it to season your cast iron. Or if you're going to make biscuits from scratch, you've got to have Crisco. But it rarely gets used. Well, they ain't no telling how much chicken I've eaten with lard in my entire life. Even when I was little, I've told this before. No matter how young I was, when my grandma or my mama cooked chicken in lard, it messed my blood pressure up. Yeah. All through my life. So, but it, do. Don't get me wrong. I love the taste of it. It tasted real good, but I have not eat lard and chicken in over 15 years. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to put the toast in the toaster. But I still remember the taste of it just like it was yesterday. My grandma would cook it, and she cooked gravy, that, chicken, and homemade mashed potatoes, and uh, homemade biscuits on Sunday, and that was some good eating. And a lot of times she cooked catfish too. And catfish was one of my favorite foods I've ever eaten in my life. Yeah. She cooked catfish. That was good. I've eaten catfish so many times. And if you was going to make gravy to go with this, you can use this flour right here that you was breading your meat with to uh, thicken your gravy. Because you're going to have to cook your uh, flour for just a little while to get the taste out of it so that it don't taste raw. So you can use this right here and then there's no waste. She's got toast in a uh, toaster, so mm -hmm. you will go ahead and when you get that done, I'm going to let you do Faith and Hands first, and we'll go ahead and let them, I know Faith behind me right now, she's ready to eat, or yeah. was. I she was, I think she went sat down, she's waiting. So if y'all hear the little guest in the background, that's my oldest daughter, Faith. She's Now she's back in the living room watching cartoons now. She's waiting on the food now. She's, yeah, she loves to eat. All I'm waiting on is the toast, and then I will fix those. It'll pop up quick. But you can eat it with biscuits or whatever. It's, there ain't no really no bad way to eat this. But this is a good method to eat a good tasting sandwich. What sandwich out of any kind of sandwich you think you've eaten the most in your entire life? I know what's in my head right now. Let's see what you say. Out of any kind of sandwich? All the way since she's a childhood. What would you say? I know what mine is by far. I probably eat more turkey sandwiches than anything. But <laughs> well, I have later in my life, but it's going to have to be bologna sandwiches. Bologna. I've eaten a bunch of them. I've eaten so many since I was a child. Bologna and biscuits, uh, bologna sandwiches, however you fix them. I've eaten more bologna sandwiches than anything on face this earth, probably. Good fried bologna sandwiches, too. Yeah. We haven't had that in a long time. Yeah. Um, but my mother used to cook um, bologna. That's what she did. Cook bologna. Mm -hmm. That, gravy, and eggs and biscuits a lot. Then when she wasn't cooking that, she cooked bacon. But I guess as a kid, the best thing she ever cooked that I really liked that she cooked most was the bacon, gravy, and biscuits. Yeah. All right. And let me get this toast. Right, and she'd use the bacon grease as a stock to make the gravy. I can remember what that tastes like to this day. How good it was. Okay, you fixing to cook them? Or not cook them, fix them? I said that wrong. I got cooking and eating on my mind, y'all. 
I'm going to do it up close and personal. All right. Well, the toast is still hot, so I'm going to put the cheese down on it. Because it helps it make it melt, and it tastes really good when it does it. And her and Hannah both likes it like that. Is it me flipping over? No, I will just say it. They're still fine for now. Let's see. All right. That looks good, I'll tell you that. That's all we did to it, and then we just put the top on it, and it's ready to roll. Hey, see, and I'm thinking to do yours too, but I gotta put more toast on the toast. That's pretty good. Alright, let me put you two pieces of toast in there. You know what I want? I don't want two pieces of toast. This old boy wants. Four pieces of toast. Y'all, how many mood to eat? I want me two sandwiches. Because they're not, they're not that big. That's one thing about them. If you like to eat, you may have to eat two of them because they are teeny tiny, but they taste awesome. Eating them little crumbs right there is good. As hungry as I am, they probably ain't gonna be no crumbs left. And thank you for cooking too. She's a good cook, y'all. And I know Faith and Hannah, they're gonna enjoy this. They there y'all go. Nice and tasty. Mm -hmm. So as soon as that cools, they will get theirs. And I cut them in half for them because it makes it easier on little hands to. Pick them up. It'll make them easier to cool, too. Yeah. yeah well. And get your, so that when your toast comes out, you're ready to eat, too. How many are you going to eat? One or two? Just one. You're to eat two. If I'm going to eat one, I'm going to eat that pepper. Well, there's three, six, so there's somebody else. I can eat two, but I'm just going to eat one. And then Faith if wants, one of them wants the extra yeah, piece, they can have it. They could have one or something, because they are little. But this meal right here, for the meat and all, costs... $5.00, five pieces. That's it. Would you for all four of us. Would you consider that a budget meal? For I would a, consider would? that a budget meal. For four people. Because you go right now and you get it somewhere else, it's going to cost you $10 person for a yeah. sandwich of some kind. Well, let me know in the comments and everything. And us, if you think it's a budget meal, you heard what she said cost it, which it would cost. But it was froze, just like I said. We bought the meat here a while back, so... But it's, we still did pay that price. Yeah. We got a decent deal on it. But even if it has went up some, it's still not going to be a high meal. It's still going to be a cheap enough meal for the amount of people that it will. Well, be. you know, uh, cooking budget meals now with meat, especially hamburger meat or any kind, even chicken now since it went up, mm -hmm. it ain't that much of a budget meal on us no more. Yeah, it's hard to get any kind of budget meal now. Especially being a meat eater. And we love tasting meat, and I'm sure a lot of y'all does. Cause I could eat meat with every meal. I love vegetables too, but I, even if I'm eating vegetables, I like some kind of meat with it. And it's just about done too. I don't want to get this on here, and I don't know if there's another slice of meat or not. It's funny how it works. You talk about food or start watching it cook, especially since I hadn't eaten. I'm ready to take my first bite. I do. You're gonna get lucky. You're getting the last piece. Oh, I'm a fart in there. It right. don't matter if you're an amateur cook on this right here. They can cook this up so simple. It's unbelievable. If they can find the minutes to take long. Yeah, just like I said, the main thing on it is, is don't have your temperature too high to start with because you'll just burn it on the outside and not have it on the inside. Done. Look at that. She must be in a good mood today. Rory, are you feeling good today, or how do you feel? Fire? I'm awake and I'm going, getting stuff done. <laughs> if it's garbage day. I just got the garbage up a while ago. And something else I need to say, too, if you stuck around this long, happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. The weekend's here. I hope everyone of y'all has an awesome weekend. I forgot to tell you the first of the uh, video. I honestly, I took the garbage out, and I don't know. I forgot it about even being Friday until I took the garbage out. Yeah. So it just has popped in my head. But we've done so much of this stuff. Plus, she went to the doctor's office. I literally forgot. So, But I didn't. I remembered. At least you got the garbage out. Because we don't want any of that. As soon as I could, you can try that. That's tempting.
Looks good. <laughs> I'm ready to eat. And just like right now, say you had six people you needed to feed, you could have put two pans on here and had this done in half the time. So it don't take long to get a meal out like this. No. No matter if you got a small family or a big uh, family, it's going to cook pretty fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're up nice. This got me in a mood to cook some good fried chicken, too. Fried chicken? Yeah. I could eat some good, or even an air fryer, or chicken fingers. I love yeah. chicken fingers, too. It is good. Do you want me to do a taste test on yeah, camera or do you, you want to? You gotta do my taste test. Well, this is your channel. You wanna do the taste yeah, test? Yeah, but today? I do the cooking. You do the taste All test. Alright, well, I will. Hey, right, because I need a critic to taste it. I cook it. I'm not gonna tell you it tastes bad. Well, I'm gonna go ahead. Let me go ahead and pause this. Go ahead and turn in here. I'm gonna let you hold the camera. Alright. And y'all, I'll be right back and I will do a taste test. It's probably good enough to take a bite. Alright. Hey, y'all. I'm fixing to do this taste test. Now, I don't know if y'all know or not. Some of y'all may be new, so I want to invite you to my channel too. It's Storm of Truth Preparedness. That's the name of it. I barely even got out. Let me say it again. Storm of Truth Preparedness. I'm a little shy, but I am going to do this taste test. And let me see how it tastes. One to ten, a nine and a half. That thing is awesome. Thanks to my wife for cooking it. Super easy to do. And maybe y'all can find some minutes taking your area. Thank y'all so much for watching. And we'll see you in the comments. Let us know what you think. And happy Friday again, y'all. See you in the next video, y'all.